Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Apa will be uploading minimum four videos every week. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're going to find new Apa's cooking uh, videos or cooking ideas on my YouTube channel on at 7 p.m. at night, Malaysian time. Now, today, uh, Apa is going to make a very simple uh, Nyongya dish. It's um, actually called Nyongya Sambal Fish, or I can't remember how they actually call it. it actually, it's fried fish with Nyongya style uh, sambal. Okay, sambal means chili paste in Malaysia. So, uh, I have pre uh, deep fried uh, garupa. This is actually a, a garupa cutlet, a garupa stick. Huge, yeah? Um, when you. Uh, I try to cut down my video time because many have been complaining about very lost or very long winded. So, I pre fried this, okay? Um, just add a little bit of salt, yeah? And deep fry under high heat. High heat means you only put in the fish when you see the smoke coming out from the oil. That is about 180 degrees and above. That is the right degree that you wanted. And then pan fry each side for about 3 minutes. Just nice. Then you will get something like this. And after that, uh, this is going to make the sambal. So I have some uh, chili here. Now, what kind of chili you use really depends on how spicy your family likes it to be. I mean, this is home cooking, right? So you are cooking not just for yourself, but also for your family. So for me, in my case, Appa is using this chili today called um, screw pepper. It looks like a screw, but this size, this, this size. <laughs> some, some of it is close to 20 centimeter. Huge one. Now, general rule about chili is the larger, the longer it is, the less spicy it is. Okay, so this is seriously not spicy at all. So, oh, you prefer the spicy type? The smaller the chili, the more spicy it is. So, you choose which one you want to use, right? So, this is about probably about one small cup of the chili. And I have two pieces of shallot here. Two pieces of, uh, this is uh, two cloves of garlic. This is one tablespoon of Blachan powder. Now, you, you may be asking Appa, Appa, where to buy Blachan powder? I don't think they actually sell Blachan powder outside in Malaysia. Okay? Uh, you're going to find uh, Blachan block. So, what is a Blachan block? You will look. Uh, let me try to find for. Oops. I don't know where my. Ah, okay. So, a Blachan block will look something like this. Okay? The whole. It comes with the whole block like this. And then you can actually uh, tap off part of, uh, like one or two tablespoons and go and uh, dry, dry roast it until it becomes powder form using medium or medium low heat slowly until it becomes powder. Okay? Dry roast meaning you pan fry it without using any oil. Remember, temperature cannot be too high. If not, it will burn. Okay, and then after that, this is about. Oh, by the way, some of you may say, Appa, very mafana. Very troublesome to do that all the time, right? No. <laughs> Appa is very lazy. So, I always ask my helper to dry roast the whole piece. And then I'm going to keep the whole piece inside one particular uh, glass container. Something like this. And keep it in the fridge. Every time I want to use it, I just scoop it up. Very simple, very fast. Okay? So, these are some of the cooking tips that you can uh, think about it. Okay. Uh, one tablespoon of blachan powder. This is one tablespoon of tauchu or fermented soya bean. Okay, this is what really makes it the give it the nyonya flavor. Very important element here. So um, since we already got we already get ready the fried fish, we're just going to uh, blend the chili and saute it. Done. Very simple. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Right, so we're going. We, I always use a hand blender. Put in the ingredient, chili, the shallot, the garlic. All right. Now, to to ease the frying process, I'm going to add a little bit of some oil here. Some will add a lot of water, up to you. But I don't like to add too much water because. Um, it, it makes the salty process a bit more difficult or takes longer time later. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of water. 
with oil. So that's going to be that's that will shorten the sorting process later. Lock it. It should take you less than one minute. For those who always ask Appa, Appa, what is the brand or what is the brand of equipment that you're using, I'll put the information inside the description box and give you the link, okay? Now, this is the consistency we want. And then we're going to saute this. Every time when you want to saute any chili paste, give it a bit of a bit more oil. You have to be a bit more generous with oil because the oil now will actually become the uh, one of part of the uh, flavoring yeah for for this particular paste and you can actually put in the paste even during cold oil then only you raise the heat uh, by doing this way you will not burn your chili paste huh? chili paste can be burning rather easily let me on my food See what I mean? If you put too much water later now, you are going to take longer time to really uh, get rid of the extra water. So I'm going to slowly saute this for at least um, 3 to 5 minutes under uh, medium, medium heat. Slowly saute it. And we actually don't mind adding the blachan right now. Ooh, blachan! Any anything fermented will, uh, will like fish sauce will uh, give you very. It, it actually doesn't uh, smell good. Okay, it doesn't have a very nice aroma. But then again, after you cook it. Whoa, the kind of the kind of aromatic feel you get from it is perfect. Okay, and then I'm adding in the tau chu, yeah, the fermented soya bean. This is another kind of ferm uh, fermented uh, ingredient as well. So imagine two kinds of fermented ingredient adding together, my goodness. This is now already super flavorful, I'm telling you. If you see too much smoke coming up, just reduce the heat. And you need to keep on stirring so that you won't um, you won't burn your chili. Or another easy alternative is uh, you can use a non-stick pan that will make things easier also. Ah, so nice. Smells so good. All right, so I'm just going to continue saute this for another two, three minutes and add some final seasoning and it's done. So we will come back very shortly. All right, so this is after another two, three minutes. Total cooking time about five, six minutes only, not very long. See, you get very beautiful orangey and reddish uh, chili oil together with um, the chili paste. I'm actually using the uh, uh, low medium heat to slowly saute this. Now we just need to do some final seasoning with a little bit of salt followed by oops, sugar. Okay, sugar a little bit more is okay. Just to give it a bit more umami flavor, I'm going to add some Vietnamese fish sauce.
I see already off the fire because I don't want to burn it. Okay, use the residual heat, stir it over, and it's basically done. This is also called chili garam, yeah? Super fragrant. Right? Okay, so here's very, uh, this is Apa's Nyonya Sao Chidi Garam with fried fish now. Actually, uh, if you eat in Malacca, they will actually pull the uh, sambal on top of the fish. But my family, some of them doesn't really take spicy, so I will actually put it at the side. But this sambal here is super aromatic, but it is not spicy because I use a very huge, very, very huge chili, remember, from, from the beginning. Okay, so uh, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, should, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.